Composting high energy waste like food waste invites technology upgrades. 30 to 40 years ago, we came up with turned windrows or aerated static piles for animal manures, biosolids, and yard waste. Most of us were not composting high energy waste like food waste. As we saw from the last video, high energy waste posed challenges with airflow and oxygen with turned windrows. Odor is also a concern when composting food waste using turned windrows. The obvious response is to recommend aerated static pile composting because we can maintain oxygen and control odor. What we learn is that the more energy there is in the compost mix, the more air that's required to maintain adequate oxygen and the faster the compost dries. And as the compost dries, the compost becomes lumpy and the microbes are no longer active. This can occur after one or two weeks with the high energy wastes. With this mix of food waste and wood chips, the moisture content has decreased from 67% to less than 50% after one week of composting. It was incredibly lumpy after one week, which I physically had to break up. It's now day nine and it's lumpy again. The odor is gone, but it needs water as well. And you can see all the white in the product, which are the actinobacter, the microbes that we want to encourage. So much for an aerated static pile where I can just leave the material for three to four weeks. But even though the compost looks great after nine days, it's far from being finished. I wonder if I can finish it using the compost turner. It will break up the lumps and I can add moisture back into the process during turning. I can then also provide aeration through the floor to keep it from going anaerobic and developing odor. The process for high energy food waste begs another question. Do I still need the wood chips in the composting material or can I screen them out and reuse them as bulking agent? High energy wastes like food waste present unique and exciting opportunities for process improvement. We will continue to explore this. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.